How do you sell your art? I'm gonna answer that question in today's episode of Ask Evan. So I recently got asked a question from one of my YouTube viewers, love you guys, Rhonda Young, who wrote in to say, I'm an artist and my passion is creating clay figurines. I live in a very rural area where such things as artistic figurines are non-essential items. How can I make them essential? Rhonda, this is a fantastic question. I have a soft spot in my heart for artists. And I think on a bigger scale, we're all artists or we should all be artists of some sort in trying to make our business grow. And so I'm gonna give you three bits of advice that I think will help you. Number one is stand for something important. One of the hardest things about art is being able to interpret the art and understand its meaning and have it have an impact on me. And so if you stand for something important, you have your one word, right? Mine is believe, that gets me a lot of business. If your one word, for example, was peace, then now I'm not just buying clay figurines, now I'm buying a piece of peace, right? So. For example, you could design figurines that now have more meaning to you that are about peace. You could donate a certain percentage of your profits to peace initiatives around the world. Now I feel like I'm buying into something way bigger than just a clay figurine. And now if I'm looking at your art, your clay figurines versus buying a mask, versus buying a painting, versus buying somebody else's clay figurines, I'm gonna go to you first because I like the mission that you're on because it's something more important than just designing clay figurines. So understand what you stand for. Number two is tell your story. This is one of the biggest assets that you have in an artist and one strategy that I think a lot of artists fall down on is you, right? Like, why are you doing this? Why do you love this art? What got you started in it? What does each piece that you created mean, right? A lot of times, again, with art, it's hard to understand the meaning and you're hoping that I come up with a meaning for it, where if you help me explain the meaning and the deeper purpose and the angle behind you creating that art, right? Like you pour a lot of love into every clay figurine you're making. And what, whatever art you're creating, a painting, picture, whatever, there's a lot of love that goes into it, or at least there should be. And so you wanna express that. Tell us the story behind it. What, personal tragedy or excitement or inspiration led you to want to create this piece, right? That story helps me buy in, helps me get connected more to who you are, why you're starting this, and it's more likely that I'm gonna buy that piece and then want to buy more pieces because now I'm connected to you. So tell your story. And number three is get the message out. What I'd start to do is start to look at connectors, start to look at influencers, start to look at people who have an audience, whether it's online and social media, or if it's traditional media. And to make that work, to get people to talk about you, you have to have the first two parts down, right? You have to stand for something important and you have to have a story that you can share. Those people are gonna help spread your message for you and bring in an audience to help buy your products. So for example, if you sold art that was about believe and you had a great story about entrepreneurship, your own story, I would love to help promote that, right? If you sent me something, I would probably hold it up in one of my videos and wanna help share that message for you, give you the exposure because you're connected with me who I believe the same thing as you do. Right? So you want to find people who are on the same path, same mission, they're expressing it through their YouTube videos, through their Twitter accounts, through their Instagram profiles. You're expressing it through your art, your clay figurines. If you're on the same path and try to have the same impact, then those are natural collaborations that can really help you build your business up. But it's not going to happen if you don't know what you stand for and if you're not comfortable telling your story. Right? those connections into the media, into the influencers can really help take your business to the next step. So remember, stand for something important, tell your story, and get the message out. Good luck, Rhonda, I hope that helps you. For those of you watching, I'd love to know what advice you have for artists, or maybe if you are an artist, what advice has helped you grow your business. Leave it in the comments below, I'm gonna join in the discussion. Thank you so much for watching, continue to believe, and I'll see you soon.